So guys, we are day three. And uh, day three has been interesting. <laughs> um, today was my doctor's appointment. So yeah, I know if you haven't followed me, I, I give you all the tea on what's, what I've been doing and health-wise. But we're going to do a video with that because I want to do some food stuff and some stuff I have to incorporate in my diet to, because I've been eating the same thing. So we're going to find some interesting food to cook. <laughs> So, yeah, so let's talk about what I'm reading so far. Then we're going to go into what I picked up for Black Friday um, sale. So, I am still reading. Well, I started this one, um, I told you guys yesterday, Honey and Spice. The person who told me that this is really a Wahe, she was right. <laughs> this is, I would say, it's supposed to be the college student, but it very much feels very Wahe. Um, I, th the reviews on this are amazing and people love it. So I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I am literally in, uh, uh chapter eight, which is about page 88. I'm going to read a chunk of it tonight and tomorrow and I'll give you a take, but I'm not loving it. It's just to me, I am, it's not giving me anything yet. Um, there is this uh, college girl and she is um very ambitious and oftentimes get what she wants um but she's a solo she has she does have a best friend and there's an opportunity that comes about for her and she has to work as a team that's what i'm getting from this and then there's an attraction to this guy that it's like they're they're mind screwing <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> but there's nothing going on yet yeah, it's, it's it's a YA guys. Don't let this adult things fool you. It's a YA. It's it's an it's a YA that was changed so that they can have a, a little bit of adult content in terms of probably there's probably gonna be some sexual things or but the language is also more adult. I don't know how I feel about it, y'all. Y'all better tell me. Please tell me it gets better. <laughs> Please tell me. Cause I'm not there yet. Alright, so we're gonna put that down. Now this year, as far as stuff I want, I am getting stuff that makes me feel good, that is part of my craft. Um, so I didn't care about a lot of other things. I don't remember the last time I even purchased clothes or shoes, even though I do need to buy a pair of boots. Um, but it's not my love. It's not what I gravitate to. So I bought more, pretty much Black Friday things supporting my art and craft. So, I started off with um, some Michael stuff. So, let's get to that. So, the first thing I, I saw that I knew I wanted, as soon as I went to Michael's, I went to Michael's with my mother. It was literally in the front of the door. As soon as you get in the door, it was right there. Bam. And these are these um, wax seal stamps. So I'm hoping I don't have to put my tripod up. So let's hope this video is not a disaster. It was um, $12.99, but of course they had a sale and then I had coupon. So I don't remember exactly what I paid, it wasn't much. So this one has, let's hope it shows up. It's a tree. And then the other ones are, we have a reindeer, we have bow, we have one that says Merry Christmas, and a gift. So let's hope they, can, they don't fall out. All right. So I've used it once with the that was you saw with the vlogmas in the beginning that's what that was um you can't really see that as much because you kind of kind of have to highlight it um so that it pops more depends on what color wa wax that you use and guys i have a lot of wax i bought this like a few months ago um so i mean you name it i have the color i i have every color you could think of in here and I and I, I do plan on using a lot more. But I'm gonna use this a lot for this season because of course after this is done it's not 
the only thing I could probably use is the bow and the gift box if it's like a you know special thing but other than that I wouldn't be able to use it for anything else so I still have it in a container because I have this is where I put all of my wax seal so I have it's the box that I DIY not too long ago where I painted it um, and this is where I keep all my other ones and I have two of this the holder but I have tons of other seals in here um, these are all flower based different flower one and of course the jar and the spoon is I keep in here um, so these are going to go in this container. So next thing I purchased was a whole lot of paper. A whole lot. And that started with these. And these are amazing. Um, so these are different kind of vintage paper. See those. They are the music theme ones. So I'm going to stuff some of these in a, the junk journal that I made for a journal mood and any kind of junk journal that I make that I'm giving people because I don't need all of these. I, I literally have others, but I just wanted these because these were different from the ones I have. Um, but I, I am definitely going to give some of these away. The next thing that I picked up is this card. These are my craft paper index. I don't know the card what you probably use for this. But I these are all Christmas ones. And I am using up a lot of them. I even cut up some already this is where I got the days from so of course when I do the journal spread today I will use number three but I cut them up and I have some other ones as well as these which I use in the spread um, there's some bigger ones that I will be using so I also picked up this Christmas one and this one is fabulous. I was like, yes. So this one I got from Amazon. This I think. Um, this I got from Amazon. I'm sorry. I also got these from Amazon as well. And this one is absolutely stunning, guys. Like, there, there is so many Christmas theme going on in here. And you just have to cut them out and then they do not have sticky backs. That's the only thing I was like, I was hoping it was just all sticky. But then I understand that it probably works out better for me because when it's sticky, it tends to be thicker. And you guys know my junk journal right now is screaming at me already um, that I'm using for Vlogmas. It is thick, thick, thick. So these are a plus that they're not thick. Um, the paper gives it a chance to um when i put glue in the back it's gonna be flat it's not gonna bulk up so i like this and i love look at these guys look at these i can't wait to cut these out and use them so this is gonna get used a lot i'm trying to use them as much but it's okay if i don't use them up there's always next year and i can use um even some of these i can use on a non-christmas thing because these are not really staple as Christmas, but I like these as well. But there's some other ones in here that um, I could get away with that's not necessarily Christmas. But they have some that's storytelling that I feel is going to be great when I do. Um, I'm trying to gonna, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm going to probably do some spreads for some of the classics that I, um, I read in my vintage journal. You guys know I like to do my historical fiction and classic in that so that's going to come up as well i need to do a spread but that's you will see that mostly on instagram I, i'll do something like that because i think i i, I want to do a dick in um and thomas hardy that i read so some of these um 
vintage paper can go with that. So that's what I have here. The next thing I did was this I got from Walmart. I thought this was so, so nice. These are stickers that you can put on anything, but you know it's going, it's going on a journal. This is going on a cover. And this one's like a dollar and some change. Somebody cover because I have gotten so many people who want me to make them junk journal for the holiday. And are, you know, I don't even know what to charge these people, but it's <laughs> it's becoming a thing. And I love doing it, but I get, you know, that I might have to still charge because it's it's it is time. Um, but um it is it's I I love when I, I still get some form of benefit in an emotional way, but also for something I enjoy doing in general. So yeah, I also got these washi. These washi, I took them out of the container and put them in this. Um, I haven't unpacked all of them. I've just been using these two, but these washi, I just like the burned look. So if you see here, it has a burned look on top. All of them are like that, but they all have different design. And I am starting to use them up um, because I love them. The only thing is them flimsy now. Look, look, look all of them just have come off the contain the um the roll that it's on. It doesn't stay on. So you have to kind of either you're gonna tape it to keep it on or whatever. But it stick on the paper really nice. Like I didn't it, it's the the for for it to feel like this on this can um on the the thing it's on, I'm surprised how um that it sticks so well on the paper because I've used it twice in two different spread and there was no issue. It did come off off the paper like if you didn't do it line it up right with no problem. But yeah, it was interesting. But I got that. Then I got went. It, you just know I cannot go anywhere downtown Brooklyn and not find a paper source. It's just not happening. So I went into a paper source and honey, I got this. So you know I love paper source for the unique paper that they have um, that I use. I have tons that I need to still use up. But it's just such a treasure that I don't, I don't care to use them up fast. But look at this, guys. Look at this this i don't know if the cap the camera is not gonna pick this up right it, it you just have to see this in person yeah the, the camera is not giving what it's supposed to give because there's like gold there's red there's black there's a, a array of different color that is on this paper and the texture of it is just amazing i'm making something with this no no what yet but we're gonna we're gonna work on this, and also I'm probably gonna use some of it for like um spreads because I absolutely love it, and I go there all the time because they have the unique paper. The next thing that I got was more on so inside. I think I got everything. I did get a lot of charms, but honey. <laughs> I was so excited to put them away. So let, let, let me I'll show you what that did. This is my container that has all my charms. All my charms, my click, my book, my book edges. And I got so excited when I got home that I dumped them in here. And, and, and now it's it's I can't show y'all. I can't show you. I had charms that were letters. Were letters. I had charms that were angel wings. I had charms that were keys. I thought the keys might still be intact. But I used one already. I had keys. I had so much. This right here is full. It's, this whole container is full of my goodies and they were at Michael's and they were really inexpensive. Michael had a really good sale. It was a lot of 40 and 50% off. So I took advantage of that. Um, now we're going to go to the bigger stuff. So let's start with the scissors. This scissors 
is amazing. This is the scissors that give you the, the rough edges. The best it, for a scissors, I feel like I just like bought something that I'm just gonna be screaming about for a while. Not only that, it is strong as hell because I have oh, it's too far to get. I have a smaller, cheap version that I bought thinking that it was gonna give me the same. Mm -mm. I bought this, I got this on Amazon. It was everything. Love the scissors and. I don't know if you can see close up the rigid, but it gives you, let me, let me give you an example. Let's cut the edge of this one. So right here, look, it's just smooth. No issue. It doesn't, it doesn't struggle to get through the paper. I have done it through cardboard and it just gives you that rich. Yeah. So it's kind of like tearing the paper, but this looks more neater. You know, y'all stationary art and craft person will appreciate this. Then we're going to get to the big, the big item that I had to get that I was so glad it had a sale that I was like, I need this. It's my Christmas present to myself. That's what I'm telling myself. But y'all. Look at my new toy. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is my new toy, guys. This is my new toy. Yeah. So I got the brother tough. What is it called now? Strong and tough. Here's the deal. This is supposed to somewhat be equivalent to my singer. So that was the main reason that I selected this particular model. It is also an older model. It has been out for a very long time. There are updated models since this. Um, the, the, the computerized one and all the other ones that I saw. But because the review on this was so amazing and people don't let this go, like there are people who have had this for years and is not intending on letting it go, I said to myself, oh, Okay, then I need to get this plus the price. It was a really good Black Friday on um, Amazon sale. And so I picked it up and I have not regretted it. I've used it since, especially on the, the junk journal that I'm doing for Journal Mood. Um, the stitching is the only thing that I haven't mastered yet on the stitching of the width of the lens and all that other good stuff that you, you, know, you need to get familiar with especially when you're buying a new sewing machine. But it's still beginner's friendly. It is very much beginner's friendly. So if you're new to sewing, you won't lose. It's, it's, it's called Strong and Tough for a reason. So it can go through a lot of layers. So I had initially bought this mini one that didn't cost much at Walmart thinking that it's going to give me what my singer was giving me. And I was rude. The thing was rude to me because it didn't even... It couldn't hold nothing, so I had to take that back. And I said, you know what? It's just not gonna make any sense to... So when I saw that this was on sale, I picked it up, but I did a lot of research, guys. I watch a lot of videos, I look at a lot of reviews, and this was like ideal for my art and craft. So what is this gonna be doing for? My junk journal stuff, because I cannot be using my singer to be doing all the stuff that I'm doing on. I have put my singer through the, the mud the last couple of months, and I need to stick to having it for clothes and also it when you use this to do paper and stuff it dug your needles out so fast that you go through a lot of needles i know already because when i got this y'all i already had to buy um i really don't have to buy a needle because i've been the needle already the first time i got this so let's see if i could show you some so in the front here you open this, it comes with all the goodies, extra foot needles and stuff. And here go my bend needle already. Completely destroyed it. It comes with a bobbit that already has some white um, um, threads on there. And so I like it for that. And I thought that was pretty cool. I already got makeup on it. Look at this. That 
Yeah. And other than that, the stitching is not my friend. I think the singer setup for the stitching is better. Um, this is giving me like interesting thing but again i'm new to this one so i gotta learn how to, to to work with the different stitching but i did do some cute sewing so far with it so when i show you guys the junk journal i made for um journal mood you will see also some of the i think let's see if i used it on this one that i made the other day no so i use it mainly on the the new junk journal that i'm making so i don't have an example that i'm going to show you yet but it's just amazing guys it's amazing it's amazing so i am going to put this back and then i'm going to show you the fabric that i plan on um using for the sewing project i'm going to be doing yay all right so i'm blinking guys so let's hope this doesn't cut so I purchased these. Wait, that had other stuff in here. Okay. So I have this two stretch velvet. So look at the color. Just imagine what kind of dress I can make with these. That is like really dressy party dress, like I'm going to any party, but you girl gonna dress up and go to dinner. <laughs> So I have these that I'm going to work on in on for the next sewing project. I also have some thicker ones that are more suity that I want to do for like pantsuit. Have that. Yeah, this one and let me show you. And then the standard black. But this one is also pretty cool because it is two-tone. So inside is gray and then outside is black. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. I have a mind, a, a, something in my mind for this one. But for the most part, I am going to, oh, I love this as well, focus on the dresses with this. So I'm going to start with a brown first. Um, a short dress with a brown. And this, I think I want to do something along with. That's the goal. But I have way more fabric here than this one. So I might have to switch maybe the short one with this. Depends on how much. I haven't decided how long the dress is going to be. But that's what I'm going to be working on. Yeah. This coming week. I'm going to start with the first dress project. So yeah, guys. That is all that I got. I think. I think. I'm looking at the table because I don't want to forget anything oh look at me yes i was going to forget something i knew it i knew it where is it there we go Ooh. the item i forgot about i got a new fountain pen guys this fountain pen is absolutely stunning and it is very similar to the pink one that I had hauled a few, like maybe two months ago or a month ago. And I know I needed another one because I love how it writes. Guys, this is amazing. So I'm going to link this, put the name of the brand down below. You can't go wrong. It's another inexpensive one. But this one absolutely writes nice. It's very sleek in your hand. It looks very elegant. It is a win-win for me. I love this. This is why I end up getting another one. So I saw the review of this as well. And this was one of the ones that they put in the top 10 um, inexpensive fountain pen that writes well. No hiccup, no leaking, no issue. Um, it comes with um, barrel and it also comes with converter. So I'm using the barrel right now because they, it came with ink. So that's another thing. It comes with blue ink and black ink. So I'm using a black barrel. But it comes with a converter. So whenever I want, I can switch and use any of my other ink. But I love the ink that it comes with. So I'm going to use these barrels until there, there's no more um, um, ink in it. And yeah. But this is sleek, sexy. If y'all love fountain pen. So I will link this 
and um, you can check it out because it's a, it's a good one you can give as a as a gift. If you know somebody that loves fountain pen, definitely give this as a gift. You you won't regret it. They will appreciate this pen. They have it in a lot of different color. I have the pink, and now I have the red, and this is perfect. And I just have it right on my my Vlogmas junk journal. And that's how I've been keeping it. And I love it. So yes. So that is it guys. I am going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. And we will, will be back with some more goodies. I am excited to see what I can create. And, and we're going to finish this book. We're going to finish that book. And hopefully guys. Like hopefully it turns around. So I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm not sure what the video is that I have scheduled for tomorrow is. Uh, yes I do. Yes I do. It's, um, it's going to be, it's gonna be a, um, um, a cute video. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.